Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. On your request today in this video I will show you how to make the sourdough starter. This process will take a bit longer. It will take about 9 to 10 days before you can start to use it. What we need for this recipe is just water and flour. It's important that you don't use any water that contain chlorine. If you use water that is contain chlorine, you will not success to build the sourdough starter. As a flower, I will use the rye flower. Let's start to measure. Important that you have a good scale to measure correct. I start to put 50 grams of rye flour. I will put 50 grams of water. It is important to mix the flour and water together very well and don't try to leave any trace of flour. Now you see how it looks like and we put it in the jar. It is important to mark the level of the sourdough. I use a rubber band, but this jar has the mark here. I put rubber band. I just put the lid on like this. I put it in the cabinet for 24 hours and we will check it tomorrow. Now we are in day two and we check the process of the sourdough starter. As you can see, the sourdough starter remain in the same position because it's still early to grow. We continue to feed today by 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of water. And now we can pour the sourdough to a clean jar. And now we can close it. And we leave it for day three. We are in day three. And as you can see, the sourdough is start to grow. Look, here we have the mark. And we see that it's already went three lines up. And also we have some small bubbles that is grow on the sourdough. Let's start to feed again the sourdough day three.
and use that to mix. The soil as I said, it is important that not leave any trace of flour. Mix well. And now we pour in a clean jar. We are about three and a half and we'll see tomorrow the process how it's going. Today is day four and the sourdough from 3.5 go up to five. We continue to feed it to make it more active. Again, 50 grams of water, 50 grams of flour. And now we can transfer in a clean jar. Now we put it in a clean jar and we mark the level of today. And the level, the level of today is 5.5. We put the lid and we store it till tomorrow. Day five. Today will not feed the sourdough starter because it start to increase the level. As you can see, it's going up from 5.5 to 7.5. We can leave it till tomorrow morning and then we can feed it tomorrow. Now we are in day 6. As you can see, from yesterday it was 7.5. And now it's going up that it was going out. Now, today we can feed again 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of water. We start to measure. 50 grams of water and now 50 grams of flour and we steal it this is important that you mix well and not leave any trace of flour We mark it make a mark here and we continue tomorrow for day seven we are day seven as you can see the sourdough is going up from here to here but again going a bit down 
Now, today, what we need to do that we discard 100 grams from the starter and we feed again 50 grams of water and 50 grams of flour. We start the process. We start to discard the 100 grams. Now what we need to do, we put the sourdough in a clean bowl and start to feed 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of water. We start to put the 50 grams of water. Always remember, don't use water that contain chlorine. This is a must. We continue to add the flour now. Now we mix well the flour and water with the sourdough. As I always say, and I can repeat it again, that don't leave any trace of flour. You need to combine everything together very well. Now we just pour the sourdough in a clean jar. Now the sourdough is feeded. We make a mark as we did yesterday. And we just put the lid on top and we leave it for tomorrow. We come back tomorrow. Before I leave, I want to tell you an important thing. In my kitchen room, now it's a bit cold, it's 18 degrees. The starter is growing, is depending of your temperature, of the water temperature, and the flower temperature. It's not necessary that my sourdough is growing more earlier or later than yours. The important is that you feed the sourdough very well, you mix very well, don't touch it in any time, just leave it and we come back tomorrow. Day 8, as you can see, the sourdough it was going up double of the size that we had yesterday. And today we see that it's already losing the strength. It was going up till here and was half of the double down. The mark is here. And this hour though is still have a bit of strength that it is here. Now we can see that the sour dough in day eight after 24 hours is already went double the size and losing the strength not as when we are in day four or day five going up slowly slowly and uh, we're not losing strength now as you can see this hour though 
is active. What we can do? We feed 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of water and today we will not discard. We start to measure. Fifty grams of water and fifty grams of rice flour. And now we start to mix everything together. Now we put in a clean jar. Now, as you can see, we put it in a clean jar. What we need to do to make a mark we cover and we come back tomorrow day nine today is the last of the process. Today is the last feeding the sourdough before we start baking. The process is taken nine days and now today we finish our journey how to make the sourdough start. Today I discard 50 grams from the sourdough and I will feed it with 100 grams of water and 100 grams of flour. First, what I need to do to discard 50 grams from the sourdough and then we put it in a clean bowl we add the flour, we add the water and the same mixing and we put it in a clean jar. We start the process. We put 100 grams of water and 100 grams of flour. Now we can start mix everything. Now we put it in a clean jar. What we need now to make a mark and we cover. Thank you for watching the process how to make the sourdough starter. I hope it was informative video for you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave comment below 
make like and share. See you in the next video. Thank you.